Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vanessa, and I am here to teach you how to sew things. If you're interested, I also have another channel where I travel around South Korea and vlog things. Very exciting stuff. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to alter the tennis skirt pattern into a knife skirt. And I will show you how to lengthen it as well. I swear every time I make a new video, I have a whole new hair color as well. This time I went with a Beetlejuice green, I guess. So anyways, let's get into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you will need the original tennis skirt pattern. This is available on toothandeye.com and I also have a link in the description box. First, I will show you how to lengthen the skirt. This is probably one of the easier alterations you can do for this pattern. All you have to do is figure out how much longer you want it, then measure straight down from the edges, and place a mark. For this example, I'm lengthening the skirt by one inch. Then just cut out all along the sides and the top. I highly recommend watching the original video. I go into more depth on how to cut out the rest of the pattern. Then shift your pattern down towards the marking and use that as a guide to cut along the bottom. And that's it, super easy. You can even use this technique to shorten the skirt as well. Just like in the original tutorial, hem the bottom of the skirt. Then we will move on to marking our knife pleats. Lay the pattern out on your cutout and hemmed fabric. Just like in the original video, cut out notches to mark the tops of the pleats. Continue this for the full length of the top of the skirt. Now we will mark the bottom of the pleats. Shift your fabric up and line up the top of the pattern along the bottom of the skirt's hem. We will be marking the exact same pleat spaces, but instead of cutting notches, we will either be using erasable marker or pins. Once you get to the midway point, shift your pattern over so that the second to last pleat markings line up the last pleat markings you just placed. And then add a marking on just the first part of that last pleat. This will be your guide to continue the rest of the pleat markings. Now all you have to do is line up that first pleat marking on the pattern with that pin and continue marking out the rest of the pleats. You should end up with a 12 and a half millimeter or half an inch seam allowance at the very end. You need this seam allowance on either end of the skirt to install the zipper later. Now we will fold all the pleats. Taking the second set of markings on both top and bottom, line those up with the third markings. Making sure everything is lined up straight, pin the pleat together. Flatten out the pleat with your hands and pin the middle. Now line up the fourth set of markings with the fifth set of markings. Pin. Flatten out the pleat and pin the middle. Continue this with the rest of the pleats. Making sure to keep the edges lined up and straight. Double check you don't have any weird folds inside the pleats. Once finished, you should have a fairly evenly pleated rectangle. All you have to do now is iron this. Move over to your sewing machine and we will sew down the tops of the pleats. Make sure you're sewing the top down and not the hem. Use a 12.5 millimeter or half an inch seam. Search the top of the skirt and the sides, making sure not to serge the pleats. You just want to serge that seam allowance. Once you get to the bottom of the hem, make sure you sew it flat and not fold it over. If you sewed the hem completely closed at the beginning, open up a couple inches or so on either end. If you watch the original video, you will understand why we do this. 
If you folded the pleats kind of close to the edge like I have here, just serge down a little bit and fold the pleat out of the way. You really want to make sure not to sew the pleat. Now all you have to do is add the waistband and the zipper and finish off the hem just like we did in the original tennis skirt video. Remove all the pins and you are basically done. If you folded your pleats too close to the edge of the fabric, I will show you a little trick when installing the zipper. As you can see here, the pleat is right along the edge of the fabric. So all I did was sew a little bit of the pleat down. Remove it from your sewing machine and cut and tie off that piece of thread. Then fold the pleat completely out of the way and continue sewing the rest of the zipper. This isn't necessarily the most professional way of doing things, but it's an easy trick to make it work. Otherwise, that one pleat could be completely sewn down, making the skirt sit very weird. And there you go, you're done. Now put that bad boy on and take it out into the wild. Although I wear tennis skirts all year, some people might find knife pleat skirts to be more fall and winter friendly. Well, I hope that was pretty straightforward for you. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Oh, I also want to apologize for this horrific backdrop. This is currently my studio setup and I spend a lot more money on traveling around Korea than I do on furniture. So you'll just have to bear with this ugly studio. Anyways, if you like the video, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.